Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Project Auto YouTube channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. And in today's video, as you can see, we're sitting here in the 97 Ram 2500 with the V10. And today's video might be a little bit boring, um, but we're gonna talk about what it's like to own a Dodge Ram first gen, or I'm sorry, second gen, excuse me, second gen uh, with the V10. Uh, so we'll wait for this thing to warm up here a little bit and we'll take it out on the road. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right to it. Um, so what is it like to own a second gen Dodge Ram with a V10? Uh, first and foremost, let's go ahead and just get this out of the way. You're going to get horrible gas mileage. I mean, I'm just saying. You're, you, that's what to expect with a, a V10 engine from the 90s. Sorry, that's just what you're going to get. I mean, a Hummer probably gets better gas mileage than this thing. Just kidding. Let's not go that far. Um, but yes, you will get very, very bad gas mileage. Um, it does have a decent sized tank. I'm not 100% sure of the capacity. I'll leave that in the description below. Um, but here's what it takes to fill it up from a quarter tank at $1.99 a gallon. So 46 bucks. I mean, that's not bad at $1.99 from a quarter tank. Um, so you figure on empty, probably closer to 60 dollars at a dollar 99 so expect to pay a lot more than that when gas prices are a little higher um, back when i first got this thing i filled it up from dead empty when we first picked it up and gas i believe was like 279 or something like that a gallon and it cost me about 80 dollars to fill it up so that's still not crazy um, but that's definitely a lot to pay to fill this thing up especially if you're going to be daily driving this um, so just keep that in mind if you're looking at purchasing uh, one of these trucks with the V10. Just keep that in mind. I mean, a lot of these newer trucks with the that are pushing four to 800 horsepower, 700 horsepower, 600 horsepower, whatever, on these new Rams with the, the V8s are getting better gas mileage than this thing, obviously. So just keep that in mind if you're looking at purchasing one of these. Um, another thing is with the V10s, I have read and I have heard people say they are junk. They are expensive to work on. They're hard to work on. Well, I haven't, we've had this truck since like 159,000. We're at 161. Um, I haven't had any issues personally with it yet. The only issue we had when we first got it was the transmission. It was the governor pressure solenoid. We went ahead and replaced that. It drives great now. Um, sometimes when it's first cold in the morning, it does want to shift kind of weird, but I mean, it's these old Dodge second gen trucks transmissions this has got the 47 re transmission they're known to have problems so i'm sure it's going to need rebuilt uh, or need some attention later down the road um and then we've changed the oil on this thing um and that's really about it i've got a headlight out right now um but that's about it so i mean of course we've only gone 2,000 miles but this is still considered a high mileage vehicle with 161,000. so you know, it's not going to be a surprise if I start having issues later down the road. But yes, I can tell you that they are expensive to work on. Um, oh, we did do the valve cover gaskets. That was like 200 bucks. Not big deal. Um, but uh, yes, they are hard to work on and I imagine they're expensive. I have had a lot of people tell me that parts are hard to find. That is true. You just got to know where to look. Um, let's go ahead and show you under the hood real quick. So here's under the hood. So what I mean by it's hard to work on, as you can tell, there's just not a lot of room uh, because they took a huge V10 engine and crammed it into the same space that the V8s would have been in, the 5.2s and the 5.9s. Um, so yes, there's little room to work. Um, a lot of the things are still easy to get to, like your spark plugs, those are all out, down along the bottom on both sides. That's easy to get to. Your alternator's up top, AC compressor's up top. Um, of course, once you get deeper down in it's going to get more complicated just because you have all you know the big fan shroud and this is gigantic engine just shoved into this small space it's going to make it kind of difficult to work on yes um, and again like i said parts are hard to find um, so it can get a little pricey to work on okay we're back inside so now let's talk about something else so as far as power um this truck, in my personal opinion, if anybody has any other thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. But in my opinion, this truck was meant to tow. It was not meant for off-roading. It was not meant for racing. It was not meant for, you know, zero to 60 times to be five seconds or whatever. No, this thing was meant to tow. Um, when I purchased this truck, it already had the hitch on the back. Also, it had where somebody had the fifth wheel 
uh, hooked up as well. So it's got the trailer light hookup inside the bed as well as uh, underneath the bumper for the regular hitch. So this thing was meant to tow. Um, again, I'll leave in the description below the uh, towing capacity and the payload capacity as well. So by no means is this a race truck or is this a super high powerful output truck that can you know, haul down the road and fly and, and, you know, whatever. I mean, it does have some pep in its step. It does get up and go if you need it to. It does have some good power behind it. Um, I'll leave the horsepower and all that stuff down below, like I said. So, but it's just not meant to womp it and expect it to, to fly. Um, now a lot of, obviously the 5.2 and the 5.9 and these new, uh, trucks, yes, those have a lot more horsepower and they are able to you're able to womp on it and go. Um, but this thing was mainly geared, bleh, excuse me, geared towards towing. Um, this particular truck is two wheel drive. Um, so again, I mean, it's this, this particular truck was geared for towing. Um, now obviously different, uh, uh, you know, four wheel drive and, and stuff like that. There was other options, uh, but this was meant for towing. So if you're looking for a second gen Dodge that you can womp on and go, you may want to consider the 5.9 or the 5.2. If you're looking for something that can really tow, go with the go with the V10. Um, this is my first V10 Dodge that I've ever owned, and so far it hasn't caused me any problems. I like it, but just keep that in mind. Um, now, something else to consider, which a lot of you truck owners already know. Me, not so much because this is my first truck with the uh, eight-foot bed. Turning radius on this thing sucks. Um, it's not going to turn on a dime. You have to turn the wheel a little bit more than you would with a regular single cab uh, Dodge like ours sitting out right here. Um, this is the extended cab, but it does not have the third door because it's 97. They didn't have those, I believe, until 98 or 99. <clears throat> um, excuse me. But just keep in mind the turning radius sucks. You will have to you know, steer a little bit longer just because this is the long wheelbase. Um, but uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on the road and see how this thing drives. All right, so here we are driving. Um, this truck has a lot of low-end torque, um, so that kind of goes back to my point of it was meant to tow, um, so it's got plenty and plenty of low-end torque. Uh, but honestly, I love driving this thing. It drives great. Um, it's smooth for a truck. I know it needs new shocks. I do know that, but it is very smooth for a truck. Um, and it, it, like I said, it's two wheel drive. Um, it does have a slight exhaust leak. I'm not sure if you're able to hear that. I have the AC going because it's just a little warm in here. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it's got a lot of low end torque. Um, you know, you hit the gas and it, it will go, you know, don't get me wrong. This thing will go. That's what I mean by shifting a little weird. It's still a little cold, so it kind of wanted to hunt gears there a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, this thing will go. Um, it needs an alignment, obviously, but we'll take care of that. It's a little bouncy, but that's what you expect with a, with a truck, especially an older one. Brakes are solid. Like I said, the AC works great. Everything works great in this truck. Um, and here I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this uh, turning radius works as long as there's no cars coming. Okay, there's one there. So as you can see, we're sitting here at an intersection. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull off here a little bit and try to turn around and swing back in over on this side. So let's go ahead and see if we're able to do that. But you see how I have to turn that wheel so far. And maybe we touched the grass, but it was able to do it. Um, but you saw how many times I had to turn that wheel just to get it to go. So, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I know this was probably kind of boring, but I just wanted to talk to you guys and make a video and show you what it's like to own a Dodge Ram 97 with the V10. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.